Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at what some residuals are or outliers in an example for time series. So here is our data on the Antarctic and this is what we call our recomposition or decomposed graph. And what it's done is it's first of all in the top here it's got the actual data in the first section. Then it split the second one out to give us a seasonality and we've got that trend line going through here through the middle. If I remove both the trend and the seasonal component that leaves me with the residuals. So what we're looking for is in this residual graph are there any points that are unusual. So let's do first a little calculation to show how this is all going to work. From our data we need to find the absolute highest and the absolute lowest value. So the very biggest value is right up there um, and that's about 19.3 I think if I put the cursor over it and my very lowest value possibly one of these values um, and so that's going to be around 2 maybe. So I'm going to do my absolute highest value here of 19.3 and our absolute lowest value of 2. So we would expect in a data set that about 10% variation would be normal. More variation than that, there would be something unusual going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that absolute highest, subtract the absolute lowest and divide that by 10 because there's our 10% variation we expect and that will give us a value of 1.73. Now when we do this we are going to take plus and minus that amount. So we're going to say from the trend line we could go up by 10%, down by 10% and that's going to give us some limits which we expect our data to just fluctuate between. So that's when we look at this graph here, that's when we look at the residuals and we see that variation. So what I've done is I've just kind of zoomed in on that variation and you'll see there's a light grey line here and that value there is about 1.73 and this one down below is minus 1.73. So those are the limits and we expect the data to fall between those limits. So as we look across the data what I'm doing is I'm scanning the data to see is there a time when it goes outside of those grey lines. And I can see for all of this data here, all of the data is within those limits. So that tells me there are no unusual values or no outliers in this data set. So that's what I want to write about. Um, so there are no points outside of the limits, meaning that there are no outliers in this data set about our surface area of sea ice.